what is going on guys welcome back to another call of duty video here today guys what we're talking about is the uh, all the things i disliked about the call of duty world war 2 beta shots. and all the things i liked um but right now what i'm going to focus on is all the things i disliked and at the end of the video i'll tell you guys all the things i liked um so let's start off right from the top guys um Week, weekend one was good. Uh, the networking was good. The hit detection was okay, mediocre at best. Uh, weekend two, the hit detection got a little bit better, but I didn't see a real major change in the hit detection. I feel like when you compare this hit detection to um, Sledgehammer's last game, Advanced Warfare, it, it hasn't changed at all, which it should have. I mean, with a new video game, you should redevelop your hit detection, your hit marker sensors, all that fun stuff, your sticky reticle, all the stuff should be addressed every game. Um, but copying and pasting can work too, I guess. Um, I just, I didn't, I didn't feel like I was killing people fast enough. Uh, even though you did die in two to three hits, you just didn't feel like you were killing people fast enough. You felt like you would get dropped, shoot first, die first. It just, it didn't feel, uh, very well put together. Another thing I disliked, guys, was the M1 Grand. Um, and this is kind of where I get into, like, a little bit of rant section. So when I say the M1 Grand, I'm not mad about the M1 Grand. I'm not pissed off about it. I'm pissed off that the maps that they gave us were all small maps. They gave us small maps because they wanted us to constantly be in a gunfight, constantly be having to shoot people, you know, thinking that this is the best beta ever, when in reality, then they're not giving us big maps. I want a big map where I can shoot someone across the map with an M1 Grand. That's my idea of a good time when it comes to this beta. Don't get me wrong, the maps were absolutely amazing. Um, I just feel like they were shoving us small close quarter maps and on purpose so that we could use more submachine guns have more fun quotation marks um and just kind of push that advanced warfare infinite warfare combat situation on us which I, I don't enjoy that at all um call me call me a bitch call me bitching but i feel like you know give give ars a little bit more of a chance hopefully in the full game we'll see bigger maps um the m1 grand is one of the key weapons that helped the united states win world war ii and you can't use it in these maps because some machine guns melt you. So I mean, I feel I feel kind of like they're not taking this this game seriously. But like I said, it's Call of Duty, it's Activision. Can't get much out of them. You might as well get what you can. That leads into my next problem with the game is map flow. Uh, it needs to the map the maps need to be bigger. Okay, let's face it. Yes, you can have small maps. But giving us all small maps during the beta is a real letdown. I feel like when the full game comes out, a lot more people are going to play it when they see the bigger maps. You can use the M1 Grand. The M1A1 will be more usable. It's just assault rifles will be a lot more used. Hopefully, hopefully they made bigger maps. I know that I'm sounding like a whining, broken record, but to me that's a big deal. Um, last but not least, I want to talk about uh, the level cap and kind of them lying about the about the beta. So weekend one, we got everything they said we get. We got the level cap of I think it was 25 or 30. We got all the weapons, blah blah blah. Kill confirmed came out. Weekend two, however, you're supposed to get captured a flag. You're supposed to get flak tower. We never seen seen flak tower. It never came out. It, prior to what you guys think, Xbox One never got it. Not that I know of, and PS4 definitely didn't get it. We never seen it. I've never played the map. I played the beta all, uh, fuck eight days it was out. Like, how can you lie to your fan base like that? And when, when you go on their website, Neuro Cinema pointed this out, I don't want to shout out to him. You can't find it. You, the website gives you a 303 error saying it's not even a real thing, which it was. But, like I said, Activision, Call of Duty. Can't get much out of them. So the level cap was 35 at the end of the second weekend. It was supposed to be 40. We were supposed to get Flag Tower and Capture Flag. Never seen any of those three things. I mean, it's whatever. You guys could have come out and read it and say, hey, we feel like we're giving you too much. We're going to dial back a bit. But they never even said anything. They just kind of didn't let it release. That was a major letdown to me. And the last and final thing about me bitching about this game is the party menu. <laughs> and when I say party menu, I mean I can't see who's in my party. I actually have to go into my, ma my friend's menu and then go into social to see who's in my party. I can't see. Um, the only way I'll find out is if I go into a lobby and see them behind me. But, like... What's the point of doing that if I don't even know if they're there? Like, let's say two people ha don't have headsets and they can't communicate. How are they going to know my party unless I actually go look? Like, this should at least make it a little easier, I think. But then again, uh, they're definitely trying to do a different approach, and I can understand that. Um, but that is all my criticisms with the beta, guys. I know it sounds like I'm bitching, but I'm trying to give them feedback. If they ever stumble upon this video, or if anyone ever 
stumbled upon this video or shit like that. Just an idea of what the beta was like when it came out. Now we're going to get all the things I do like. So the things I do like, guys, are the maps. As much as I hate them, I do like them. The maps are accurate to what a war simulation would be in those maps. Um, I think the maps were laid out very correctly for what they were aiming for, which was close encounter submachine gun range. Um, I think that the liability of all the guns are very well put together. The PPSH looks pretty good to its counterpart. The M1 Grand looks pretty good to its counterpart. The SDG 44 the M1A1, the, M the Thompson, it goes on and on and on. They look very, very accurate to what they should in real life. I like the fact that they copied MW2, or not MW2, sorry, MWR, and put the inspect option on the guns, um, which MWR stole that from Counter-Strike, if you guys didn't know. It's kind of just a thing. Um, another thing I liked was the kill streaks. I thought the kill streaks were very, very well put together. The flamethrower, the glide bomb. Um, artillery, it's just, it was really fun to use, I had a lot of fun with that. The game modes, um, we had TDM, Domination, Hardpoint, Mosh Pit, and War. War was an absolutely amazing game mode, I love it so much, I'm gonna play it a lot when the full game comes out. Um, game modes felt very well constructed, uh, networking felt very well too. Uh, I'm just trying to go through as many things as I can here, guys. Um, um, I didn't feel like, uh... Let's see, let's see what else we can come up with. Um, I shouldn't say come up with, I actually have it written down from me. I'm just running out of ideas here. I felt like uh, the guns, the submachine guns were balanced well. Um, once you get into the Thompson and higher submachine guns, there's really more open room for higher, better submachine guns. And I feel like that's going to be a thing when the full game comes out as well. Um, but that's, that's basically it, guys. That's what it comes down to. That's my criticisms, that's my takeaways, that's my likes, that's everything I feel about the game. Um, I feel like the beta did about a 7 out of 10. Um, if they could work on hit detection and bigger maps, I would absolutely think this is going to be the best Call of Duty of 2017. Um, that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this little video. Um, if you're new, subscribe. Hit that like button if you agree with me. If you disagree with me, put it in the comments. Tell me what you think. Uh, that I'm wrong about. I am not a developer. I am just giving people my opinion and feedback. I've been playing this series for almost just about 10 years. I've been playing it since Call of Duty World of War came out. I mean, um, there's not a whole lot to take away from it, but it's just little things. Like, they already fixed half the shit that I wanted them to fix in the first weekend, so hopefully when the full game comes out, we will see a lot more of it. Um, I did like the fact, now I know I'm rambling, but they said that they're going to take swastikas out of the multiplayer because they can't release it in Germany. And it has to be viable for everyone to go together. Which, that kind of makes sense, but there's a lot of flaws in it. They did not take it out of the story, which I absolutely love. At least we can play the story and see, like, actual swastikas and see what it's like to be living in the world war that time. Um, and we've seen a little bit of Zombies the League trailer. Obviously, there was none in the beta, but I can't wait to play that. So, I hope you guys uh, enjoy this video, and I will see you guys all next time. Thank you guys so much for watching.